Last week on Fish and Fire, Jim and Dan Miller rolled into camp and made their way out to an ice hut, sitting atop Frozen Lake Nipissing. Welcome to Canada, the coldest place on earth. The guys spent the day fishing, Please. playing pranks on Antonio, all you guys in on this. and cooking. Jim and Dan squared off in a cooking competition, and Dan's chowder knocked his brother Jim down for the count. Today is the second day of the trip, and the guys are ready for some more fishing and friendly competition at Bear Creek Cottages. Bear Creek Cottages out here on Lake Nipsing, and we have a couple different options for you in the wintertime. You can come out and stay in one of these overnighters, so uh, you sleep right out here. Uh, you got a barbecue, a full oven, smash the boat to put a roast in here. If you like roughing it and coming out, and you don't mind not having a shower for a couple days, the ice bungalow is the way to go. Um, if you prefer to get back and have a shower and watch some tube, then uh, the cottage is the way to go for you. So. Check it out, Lake Nipsing, uh, Bear Creek Cottages, and, and we'll get you out here and get you into some fish. After spending most of their first day fishing inside the hut, Sean decided it was time for these guys to get the full experience of ice fishing in northern Canada. So I took the boys on a day trip, and what that means is just get out of the hut for a bit, change the scenery, right? Get out and explore the lake. Um, guiding people in the summertime and in the wintertime is totally different. In the wintertime when we're out here, a good GPS is a must. You want to have the lake map on it or your iPhone with Navionics on it. And you got to find those contour lines. You have to go out there and actually drill the holes to find the depth. So you really have to put some work into it in the winter to get on the right spot. We went about seven miles out in the lake towards the Manitou Islands here. And as soon as we got there, we started hammering fish. First fish of the day. There you go. Nice little walleye. Nice. How we do it here, folks? They don't know it. Jim's a quiet fisherman. He's a, you never know if he has a bite on it or not. He just uh, all of a sudden you'll see him over there and he's got his rod in his hand and he's focused and, and bang, there it is. <laughs> he doesn't even tell you he has a fish on. You got to see him. Another Lake Nipsing Wally right there, courtesy of Jim Miller. Beauty. Yeah, you're on, you're on, you're on! Is that it? You got him? Beauty fish. There you go, nice. 17. Back it goes. Catch him left and right now. Feeling hot. It's not cold out here, it's hot. And things continue to get even hotter for Jim Miller. Every time I leave my rods, you nail one. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh, yeah, baby. Nice fish! <laughs> there it is. Ah, <laughs> <Atta> boy. <laughs> Full Lake Nipsing pickle right there. Is that the biggest pickle of your life? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah? Beautiful. After Jim caught by far the biggest fish of the trip, the rest of the guys started hooking some nice walleye as well. But before long, Jim was back at it, snagging another fish that would make the rest of the oh, guys yeah. jealous. Nice hook set. Is it heavy? Oh, nice. Nice Beauty. fish, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> nice hook set, top of the lip here. So we'll we'll that one there, yep. Oh, 19. You're getting all the keepers for us. Got two keepers. Fish with a bigger worm, you catch, you catch a bigger fish. <laughs> That's all it is. Coming up, the guys keep the hot fishing streak going, and Jim puts his athleticism on display to help his fellow fishermen. Oh shoot, get it, get it. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Give it a thumbs up if you like what you see. We will be dropping numerous amounts of fishing tips from fish on to Gagne, tips in the kitchen, cooking tips, knife skills, you name it. I'll be dropping it weekly. Be, scrib ugh, be sure to subscribe to our channel and we got a lot more stuff coming up for you. Be sure to catch us next week when we come to you live from some sort of body of water in some sort of kitchen.